This is a electric motorcycle kit. We're making a, a 2023 uh, Honda CRF into an electric bike. This is a QS138 uh, 70H V3 motor, a EM260S controller. It's a new model controller. Uh, I just showed you another video of it running. This is the uh, voltmeter with the cover on it. And here's the on off switch. This is all from Electron Company and the throttle and uh, it is plugged together and ran it, it took me 10 minutes to plug it in and it ran a gas tank cover i'm going to use for the switch which is going to go inside of there it will go inside of there and a meter which i don't have on the table here but i haven't i'm using another meter to put in there which gives the current and the voltage um, the battery is going to be made up uh, a of two groups of 20s 6p I do two groups so that I can charge it faster at the track because you only have 110 volts at the track and you can get about a 15 amp charge out of a single charger at 110 volts. So I split the battery into two for charging. And the switch I use is a dual battery switch. You can see it has two uh, positions on it for batteries. Battery one and battery two or battery one and two. And so that'll be charged. This is the cooling system for the controller. Uh, I may get one more, I have room for another, one more uh, cooling rack like that, so I'll put a second one on there. This is the uh, power supply, a switched power supply, it switches on and off with the, the ignition switch. There's no spark and arc and ruining switches. If you don't get the one that's a Pro Chaser, uh, it's, it's actually much, much better. Um, I'm using ball cells, P42s. This is uh, 200 of them here, I have another 300 over there sitting. It will be 240 cells all totaled in this bike. I'm using number four to go from the switch and number six to go from each battery to the switch. So this is the number four, this is the number six, I believe I have to look at it, it's written on it. Special sprocket from Light uh, Lithium King. It's uh, wider, so you have more traction on the uh, shaft, if you wanna call it that, it's twice as wide. And I'm using uh, Anderson connectors, there's one missing, but I have four of them. So from each battery, one Anderson connector. These are been tested, time tested for 200 amps um, all day long. And uh, so I'm using two batteries, 200 amps each, a potential of 400 or four, actually 500 amps out there. And so that's the complete kit. I'm using a little bit different switch for the mode switch. I'm gonna modify this switch. It's a blinker uh, on off switch and a horn button. I'm going to use this the blinker button for one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. On, off with the red button. On, off. And the green button is going to be for boost. Or I will call it push to pass. Now this will be on the pass on the left side of the handlebar. So that the thumb of the left hand can at any time hit push to pass. And uh, that the Electron company calls that ludicrous mode, and it virtually is. It, it launches uh, the power out of this thing. So anyway, that is pretty much a complete kit. Um, a few brackets here and there. I don't have the motor mount brackets. They're being water jetted right now, and they'll be done uh, this week, I hope. Uh, the controller I'll have mounted hopefully today, and um, we'll start going through the tank parts and getting the meter in the top of the tank. So uh, that's, that's it for right now. Uh, here is one of the meters. This is a used one, but it's a, it's the meter I use, and it looks like this. This is the bike I'm using here that has, it's very visible in daylight. Gives you your uh, current flow as, you, as you're running, and your battery voltage. Very the important thing you have to read and know. And you can read this in daylight or, uh, or nighttime. It, it's, it's backlit, and it'll go out. Anyway, that's the complete kit, start, the start of a complete kit.